this is part two of our Let's Play for Triforce Heroes. You almost forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> I saw I almost you forgot. looked down your paper. You almost and, forgot uh, what we were doing. We kind of ended the first part talking a little bit about the name. Yes. Uh, obviously, Link has been the name we've gone with through almost every game yes, we've done. Uh -huh. But we went ahead and named it Actually, Hick. it is the it is name Hick. we've done for every <laughs> single game. Uh, you named your character Hick, and I named mine Red, because we did think about playing you know, multiplayer uh -huh. together. And it'd be easy to find each other that way. Like I said, when we first started recording, I tried multiplayer, but like yeah. we just didn't know what we were going to do. So if we were ever online or playing with somebody online, yeah. we wanted the recordings to show like you know who we actually were that exactly. were playing. So that's why we did. So we'll be using like Link and Hick yeah. interchangeably throughout the whole Let's Play. Now I guess I should mention in this part we actually take on our first uh, level. We take on the all four stages of the Deku Forest. Uh, no, actually it's the Woodlands. Oh yeah, 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 not to yeah. spoil it, but yes, yes, that's exactly what we're doing before we get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we just don't have enough content to get us yeah. to the next area, well, so we kind of just throw something out there. I also realized I forgot when I started to mention. Normally, we try to mention what we're doing in the yes. video. Yes. <laughs> you know, I do want to say something about that central hub. I can't remember if we addressed in the first part, but that central hub you get right there. Yeah. I, that small central area outside, I think, is the only like outside area in the I game. I think so too. So if you're coming here and you haven't played this game yet, which actually no, some people haven't. Absolutely. Like, this doesn't have a big overworld. Like, it's it that small central hub, or at least that's all I know so far. Me too. And then you kind of just go into the level areas. And I'm not a big fan of that. It kind of, it makes me think of like the, old, the older Mario games where you yes. select the world, you select the level, all that well, stuff. Well, you've not played Four Swords yeah. Adventures or whichever one was on a 3DS, whichever. but um, <laughs> there's two of them. Yeah. But like, so, like, I. This game is exactly what I expected to be. It, yeah. It's very identical to Four Swords. I didn't know what I expected, to be 100% honest. I, I just, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I love having a big, giant Hyrule yes. or Hytopia. Or, well, yeah, or I do too. I mean, I would prefer a regular Zelda game. Yeah. But, like, you know, I kind of came in, I guess, with lower expectations yeah. for this game. <laughs> I think so far, like, I'm, uh, at the time of, we're doing this commentary right now, I've only beat, like, two of the big uh, areas. Yeah. And so I'm only about... I'm probably not even halfway through the probably game not. right now, but <laughs> so far I've been very impressed with the puzzles. Well, and part of that is they use, or something that's really stood out to me is they use the same like art style and gameplay in general. Yeah, to, uh, and like attack control, or what do you call it? Gameplay control, I guess. Yeah, uh -huh. from uh, a Link Between Worlds, which, yeah, which we loved, mm -hmm. which we is one of our, if not favorite. our favorite handheld yeah, game. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the fact that they kept that art style, the same gameplay, and a lot of the same uh, you know concepts. I thought really helped, even though like yeah, we're missing the overworld. We're mi maybe we're not huge fans of the story. Yes, but the, the story's game. awful. In our yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest. But but that solid. But you, Zelda you like gameplay. it? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, that solid gameplay is still there. Now there's no way these wooden doppels can move. For, as freely as they do here in a little while. Like, why these things are made of wood is beyond me. It's like Pinocchio, man. They come to life and they're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Was I don't he a puppet, though? Either. Yeah, he was a puppet. Well, I guess uh, these guys are... Well, I guess in a way they kind of are. And you can kind of see on the uh, bottom screen, the bottom right screen right here, you can see yes. the three little... Um, I don't know what you want to call Panels. those, or buttons or whatever. Yeah. Like, that's how we'll be switching off between all three uh, colors, char colors, characters, characters, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> Which Dopples. I thought... Doppels would be the right word, yeah. I guess, in that situation. Which I thought was a great idea because they made them big enough that, like, it's easy enough to they hit them. They look creepy as heck, though, right that there. That looks so scary. <laughs> that's just weird. It, <laughs> yep. yep. But they made those, uh, like, doppel buttons, I guess you'd call them down there, like, big enough that it's very easy to switch uh -huh. between characters. I was really worried about how single-player... Agree. And I think they did a great job of, of making it compatible with just one person playing. Yeah. And if you're not that far in this game, like I said in the first part, I've experienced both with multiplayer and single player. I actually like the single player more. Me too. For reasons I say in the first part, but then also, I think it added to the uh, puzzles a little bit. It made the puzzles a little bit more difficult because oh, you had to does. switch between characters. And I actually really enjoyed that. It really does, especially the ones that are based on timing. Like when you have to, or, or oh, having the, those are tough. Yeah. <laughs> or when you have to like have the later on, you'll actually see uh, that like different doppels can get different yeah. items. So when you have to make sure, you have to remember which doppel has the right item to do what you want. And thankfully, those panels there or the buttons do show yes. uh, which color has which item. Obviously, right now they all yeah. have bow. And, <laughs> and by part fifteen, would give you a really good example of how things are hard to figure out yes. with the use of different weapons. But <laughs> that's a ways down the road. Yeah, a little ways to work. Like I'm that. not gonna lie, sometimes I do struggle. Like when you have to switch between them, yes. and then switch. One thing that I actually picked up on very early, well, you know, 
<laughs> jumping too far ourselves. We'll, we'll talk about that later on. Now, one thing I... I, I no, I, actually... You know, I'm Go sorry. Ahead. We actually ahead. just did it right there. When you throw from the middle one, yes. is what I already talked about. Like, because we just actually did it right there. Yeah. That's one thing that I picked up on very quickly. But you said that you actually yeah. missed that. I kind of never realized that because you can throw from either the bottom or the middle. Yes. Uh -huh. I didn't pick up on that. And it, I, I won't lie. I had to Google how to solve yeah. the puzzle, and that was when I felt dumb. I think <laughs> what also confuses me is like the top of the uh, totem is actually the weapon you use. Yeah. Like, it's not the bottom guy. So like that took me a couple of times to get down. Well, it took me a second to realize that you don't have to switch to controlling the top guy to use his weapon. Yes, uh-huh. Which, thank goodness, that would be almost impossible, I think. I kept trying to switch, like, let's say the blue guy's on top. Yes. I kept trying to carry him around with the other colors, and, yeah. then, and then switch to the blue guy Yeah, you could do that. Like, if he's on bottom, you cannot use that weapon. Now, yeah. let's kind of go off topic a little bit here, because I know you, like, another part of this. Oh, yeah. But, like, that light shine through right there on the dirt, and I yes. know you also, you didn't talk about it, but in that yeah. castle... Just that's some great detail in the game. It was like in the castle, you had like the like the light coming in from the big arch windows, mm -hmm. and also seeing the candles reflecting yes. on the tile yes. floor. Was uh -huh. just, it's like yes, they've taken the same art style from A Link Between Worlds, but I think they've even improved on it with some of the little details that they do get into. And little things like that, like that makes us enjoy a game just that much more. And just one thing you can see it right here, our first level that we've seen this on are stages. They're actually stages during yeah. the levels, during the areas. Yep. <laughs> it can get confusing, but there's actually a lot of depth in this game. There is. And I really like that. I mean, I just love it. It feels like we're climbing up the side of a cliff right here, which we are, I guess. Yes, uh -huh. well, you walk down. across a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> and I barely made that first bridge. You I don't did. know if you saw that or not. Like, like, I couldn't believe I chanced that one. But then, like, you just look down, and, like, the water looks beautiful down there, though. And, you know, for this place being called the Drab Lands, a few It's these, not very drab. No. I mean, yeah, uh, the next. Uh, but if you look around, their fashion is not that great. Like, the no. blobs the blobs aren't even <laughs> wearing anything. <laughs> I wish we could all be so lucky. They're, they got the green man suit on. They, they, do. they, they got they the do. green man suit. Well, I mean, basically, the princess is stuck wearing the, uh, the black equivalent of that now. Yes, I mean, that's true. <laughs> that is true right there and also and this is kind of going a little bit off subject from what you were just talking about because we never go off topic yeah never <laughs> never but how about the waterfalls we always talk about we're just it's not weird or anything but we just love waterfalls we do and this game like has a lot of them and then like the depth of the levels like it just makes the whole game a lot of the areas look beautiful now i don't understand how in the world that waterfall isn't just nailing that switch for us oh that is <laughs> yeah that is very true right there i mean that switch should just be constantly changing <laughs> yeah Oh, that'd be a pain. <laughs> the bridge is stop and start and stop and start. We can barely get across the bridge when it's barely moving. Much less <laughs> yeah, it's yes, going back and forth. <laughs> what is going on? But like waterfalls always signify things like rivers and lakes, and yes. which always are more attractive areas. You're exactly right on. And then, like you see a little like you know, uh, don't know what you call that pond, ocean, lake at the bottom. Something. You know, a little <laughs> area of water like at the bottom where it's all collecting just. I'd rather see that than like a bottomless pit. Me too. It also kind of adds to the depth yes, of, uh -huh. of the game a little bit, and that and the 3D really helps. That obviously we're not recording in 3D. Yes, uh -huh. but it definitely. Well, adds. is there any computer screens that even show 3D? None they're of mine. Probably, they're, they're probably <laughs> somewhere. None of mine. That's for I sure. I think the whole 3D gimmick, like not with this game, but like the whole 3D TVs. I think that gimmick is kind of gone. I think so too. Now the fourth stage, I feel like, is almost always some kind of fight. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if that holds true throughout the entire game or not. Yes, uh huh. Well, it's either like, yeah, I guess you're right. It usually is battling enemies. Like, yeah. you know, either like, I think, like, um, crap, which, uh, we're on the first stage. We're on the first, yes. no, the first level, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna get that confused. We're first on the first level. level. I think the second levels always have, like, a mini boss, and then the fourth levels have, like, a uh, the big the boss. boss. Yeah, or, or boss, yes. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. And I guess I was thinking big boss key. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, of, I think it's the first time I've actually ever called a boss a big boss. I do kind of like the music that plays when you clear a level or a stage. Yeah, that's actually coming area. up. It's actually not right here. That's coming up to the uh, oh, next stage where, like, yeah, we get the treasure chest and yeah. with the item or whatever. Right here is what you were talking about. Okay, I was thinking of the really quick, like, fanfare that also plays, like, when you finish... When you make that Triforce appear at the end of each, uh, at the end of each stage. Oh, is there like a tune? There's a little quick tune. Okay, I, okay, I, okay. I guess you're right there too. Also, there are several. There's, yes, that that hey, is true. They want you to know that you accomplished something, darn well, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Zelda does do good at that though, with the whole treasure chest sound and like you know all the different like sounds that have gone throughout the entire series. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of like the random prize you get at the end of each area because I feel like you'd like to get something. But this goes ahead and wraps up uh, part two.